Eddie, I swear to you, I'll never understand Sheilas. That's what they call chicks out here. I mean, it's like they're from another planet or something. And in Sarah McDonald's case, it's in a galaxy far, far away. <laughs> You're so totally wrong, you know? <laughs> Says the king of wrong. You know what your problem is, Sarah? You can't admit it, can you? You just can't come out and say, I'm wrong. That's because I'm not, you Canadian dork. Canadian dork. Don't ever stop arguing. I wouldn't bet on it. She just can't handle the fact that I'm smarter than her. I noticed a lot of chicks are like that. That is so oh, typical of boys. You are such big heads. Well, we can't help it if we're naturally superior, can we, Hamish? Leave me out of it, thanks. Don't you guys ever give it a rest? Look, all she has to do is admit that I'm right. Hello, space cadet. Time for your reality check. Whoa! End of the round. Everybody back to their corners. Look, you two can take a walk and cool off. I need some fresh supplies for the galley. We'll finish up here. Sure. I guess I'll have to carry all the heavy stuff. Well, you're not here for your brain. Sheesh, you girls have it so easy. Oh, that is so typical. Oh, spare me. Is there nothing I can do with these two? Do you want butter or margarine? Butter. Margarine. <laughs> oh, well, I'll give you half and half. Hang on a mo while I duck out the back. Won't be a jiffy. I wish she wouldn't do that. <sighs> she said she won't be long. Yeah, I knew that. I just wish that women could talk in a way that men can understand. Oh, sorry, we lost the art of grunting a few thousand years ago, so why don't you just get off our case, Maple Boy? What was that there? No, just let me have a look. I, I, I see Finn really gets off her nose, right? too. <laughs> <laughs> it's me. Yeah, but he's still got the run of the Tingala Rose. For now. Meaning? I reckon I can change that. I reckon I can make her give him a push. One problem. She hates your guts. What is your problem? All I've got to do is get on her side. It wouldn't take much to talk her into dumping Finn by the look of things. And then his gang moves out, and ours moves in. I always thought that boat would make a great clubhouse. How are you going to get her on side? Hey. Trust me. We've got to do something to stop this eternal squabbling. Looks like we've interrupted some serious business, buddy. Yeah, like what's cooking, good looking? We're trying to find a way to make Chuck and Sarah stop arguing. Oh, I wish you all the best of luck, my little chickadees. Because you're going to need it. Problem is, Chuck always has to be such a guy. Well, Sarah shows all the classic psychosocial responses of a girl in return. She's a girl. Let's face it, they're never going to be able to see the other side of things. Unless, of course, someone pulls the old switcheroo. What's a switcheroo? A simple exchange of souls between bodies, girl to boy and vice versa. Oh, big no-no with the big kahunas, man. Don't even think about it. Things can never be that bad. You can tell, Sarah, there's a really cool dude here to see you. Who? Me. You're joking, aren't you? What do you want? I come in peace. And you go in pieces if you're not careful. Out, off the boat. Give me a break, Sarah. All I ask is a fair hearing. When have you ever been fair, Tony Maloney? Look, I just want to be friends, that's all. Nothing wrong with that, is there? There's nothing right with it, either. You've been bugging me ever since we were little kids. Yeah, but that was then. This is now. And I admit I've done the wrong thing in the past, but, I mean, a guy can change, can't he? Not if he's you, he can. I'm handling this, thanks very much. And I know you might find it hard to believe. Yeah, try impossible. Do you mind? But the fact is I've been doing a lot of thinking lately and I'd like to make up for what I've done. Clear the slate and start again. Oh, sure. Not. But out, Lee. I just wanted to prove to you what a cool friend I can be. Because, the, no, the truth is, deep down, I've always really liked you, Sarah. Hey, step up, folks. We're on a ride to fantasy land. And why is that? Come on, the guy who likes you? Zip. What, so that's impossible, is it? For Moose, she doesn't want to be your friend. I'll choose my own friends, Chuck. Can't you see he's conning you? Oh, that's good. Coming from the con merchant to end all con merchants. <clears throat> Is Mr. McDonald in? Wheelhouse. I can be friends with anyone oh, I want. Yes, dear. Not with him. Try and stop me. Have you totally lost it? I mean, with friends like him, you don't need enemies. That's for me to decide. Look, to prove I'm for real, let me treat you to the new Ned White video. I can bring it around tomorrow night. No, dream on. She's crazy, but not that crazy. No video. Since when do I take orders from you? Sure, bring it around. Why not? Excellent. We can sort of get to know each other a bit better. So I'll see you tomorrow then, babe. Babe? Having those quarrelsome young people aboard can hardly be good for business. Oh, don't worry, Edna. Business has never been better. 
fact, the Tingala Rose is making more as a working boat than your floating museum ever did. Indeed. And that's why I'm here with a business proposition. 500 more for your old barge, and if you've got any sense, you'll take it. No, Edna. Not if it was 5,000. We'll see. There are more ways to kill a cat than choking it with cream. Come, Herman. So let me get this straight. She's made a date with this cat she doesn't even like. Just to bug Chuck? Sounds like a bad move to me. One question. Why? Well, he was bugging her, and you know what they're like. Nothing much we can do. See you dudes later. Better hope they come to their senses, though. Because Tiny Maloney's the last person you want hanging around here. I don't like the sound of this at all, my friend. Chuck understands nothing about girls. She don't know diddly about guys, either. If only there was a way we could get them to walk in each other's shoes for a while. Oh, but they can, buddy. They can. Remember? No. No way, man. Not the old switcheroo. Come on, buddy boy. Live a little. It's strictly against the rules. We can't. Yes, we can. We're going to teach those kids how the other half lives. Tomorrow morning, not only will they be living in each other's shoes, they'll be in each other's bodies. And then we'll see how they like it. Wakey, wakey, rise and shine. You're not my legs. This is not my room. Hey, what up with this? Take a hike! Take a hike! I don't know how you're doing this, Sarah, but when I find out your history. I said, scram! Sarah, what's wrong? I'm not Sarah, I'm Chuck. Chuck Finn, Chuck Finn from Toronto, Canada. Honest to God, I'm Chuck. You're not my hands. This is not my cabin. This can't be happening. It's one very, very bad dream. Shut your eyes. Now, I'll wake up and everything will be back to normal. Chuck, hurry up. Breakfast is getting cold. I don't want breakfast. I said, I don't want breakfast. Do it yourself. Ah, oh, gross. Nice new image. Is there a door convention in town? I've told you, Fiona, don't speak to your brother that way. I'm not her brother. I'm, I'm Sarah McDonald of the Ting Gala Rose, and this is my worst nightmare. <laughs> It'd be hard to find a good psychiatrist in Tingala. Who are you? Chuck Finn. Then why do you look like me? Why do you look like me? Almost. Get inside fast. No way anyone's seeing me like this. You mean somehow or other you two have been switched? Right, Mr. McD. But why? More importantly, who? Buddy and fingers. fingers. You call? You have got some explaining to do. You did this, didn't you? Hey, man. We had to do something. You cats were driving us crazy. You change this back right now. Sorry. The old switcheroo cuts out at midnight and not a moment before. And then maybe you guys might have learned something about each other. Hmm. Maybe it's not such a bad idea. Dad, I can't go to school in this. Oh, now, Chuck, I, I mean, Sarah, it seems to me that you've got no choice. Well, I do, and I'm not going. Well, I would if I were you, Sarah. I mean, Chuck, after all, it's your body she's wearing. You want to keep an eye on it. <laughs> hey, girlfriend. Looking cute. He's me. You can't find him, Chuck. You're a girl. Sorry, she's a what? It's a long and complicated story. Strictly hush hush, okay? Just watch what you do in that body, okay? I've got a reputation to keep. Oh, sure. Don't worry. I'll do my best to be a pain in the butt. 
He's heading for the boys' toilets. So he is. Shouldn't we stop him? No, I don't think so. But Sarah, the kids will think it's you. I can live with that. <laughs> <laughs> Newsflash for you, Finn. Forget Sarah McDonald, because from now on, she's mine. Sure, Tiny, keep taking your medication. But don't believe me. Tell you what, I'll fight you for her. Yeah, come on, Finn, fight. Rent a brain fighting's from morons. <laughs> you hear that? He's chicken. What are you, Finn, a girl? Fight! 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 Can't back down from a fight, you understand? A guy backs down and he's a wimp forever. That's ridiculous. I'll tell you what, just as a favour to you, Sarah, I won't pulverise him now. <laughs> we'll wait till judo class this afternoon. See you then, chicken. Chicken! Hey, Sarah, over here. Sarah, come and join us. What's wrong with you today? Oh, well, it's... It's just that I... I mean, Chuck's got himself in a fight today. That's boys for you. Yeah. I suppose it's a bit of a cruise being one of us girls. <laughs> Are you kidding? Being put down by them all the time, treated like an idiot, and expected to laugh at their stupid jokes. Told you can't do things you can. And the cost of makeup these days. I'd trade places any day. Believe me, Sarah, they don't know how good they've got it. Don't cry. You're me, remember? Look, I'm not crying and I'm not you. I'm me and I'm bruised all over. Your stupid body isn't helping any either. Well, it works just fine when I'm in it. Ooh, I wish you were in it now. Come on, Finn. Either resume the bout or forfeit. Hey, you're doing all right, but let's face it. You're hopelessly outmatched. So I've got two words for you. Give up. Fight. Dirty. Call it the old switcheroo. Unbelievable. That means you're Chuck. And you're... Sarah. Unreal. Here's trouble. Hey, easy boys. Just came to remind you about our date tonight, dollface. Could have let him work you over, but I didn't want any rough stuff in front of Sarah. See you at 7.30. No. I forgot. What are we gonna do? Too late to change things now. You have to go through with it. Yikes. Should have at least let us give him an atomic wedgie time. Finn will keep. Tonight's the night I make my move on her. And she doesn't know what she's in for. <laughs> Try not to eat all the peas, Fiona. Dinner in half an hour. Oh. Don't wait for me, Mrs. Finn. I've got to check out something at the Tin Gala Rose. Mrs. Finn? Um, uh, Mum. Oh, I'll keep a snack for you, Charles. Oh, thanks, but don't go to any trouble. Don't go to any trouble? That wasn't Al Charles. He hasn't been himself today. He walks differently, he talks differently, and his manners have improved no end. <laughs> Maybe he's turning into a human being. Gee, that'd be a switch. Don't you dare leave me alone with him, whatever happens. If I was in my own body, no problemo. But look what I have to work with here. Watch it. Well, it's hardly Mr. Universe now, is it? Anyway, it's all your fault. If you hadn't made nice with him alone anymore, and I wouldn't be stuck with him tonight. Oh, listen up, everyone. I've just had Edna a little more in my ear again. Oh, what does the old bat want now? She's proposing to buy in as a business partner. Tell her to buzz off. Uh, you'd be uh, Chuck, right? Right on, Mr. McD. Uh, so, uh, Sarah, uh, this probably affects you more than anyone else. Uh, what's your opinion? Tell her to rack off, Dad. I don't know why you two can't get along when you've got so much in common. So what about the rest of you? Well, it's unanimous, then. I'll go and give her the bad news. Who invited him? I did. I won't even ask. Well, here I am. And here's the video. Come on, Sarah. N not you, Lot. Just me and her and Ned White. 
That's great. Just great. So where's the video? Um, how, how about we get to know each other a bit first? I'm here for Ned, not you. So do we all rush in? No, one at a time. You go first. Oh, what do I say? Just improvise. OK. What does that mean? Just make something up. Come on, Sarah, don't be like that. Oh, sorry. Am I interrupting something? No. No? Whatever made you think that? Join us. Please. Look, what do you want? Uh, does anyone know the uh, second verse of Advanced Australia Fair? No, Linda. Goodbye, Linda. How's it going? Not so good. You better get in there fast. What happened? Tiny's all over her. Him, you. Get off me. What? I thought we were going to be friends. Not that friendly. Look, a guy just can't help himself. You know, you're such a gorgeous uh, chick. Has uh, anyone seen my Walkman? Disappear, hamster. Someone's cruising for a bruising. Oops. Who said that? Uh, he said what? I get it. He throws his voice, right? Whatever. Anyway, forget about him. Let's talk about us, babe. How about a kiss? Kiss this. One friendly little kiss. Oh, gross out. He's going to go to the pash. Not on my body, he won't. No way. Ow. Listen, Chuck, I'm not Sarah. I'm Chuck Finn. And I'm Sarah. Get your hands off me. What are we going to do? One in, all in. Follow me. You're Finn, and you're Sarah. That's right, and I'm Hamish, and I'm Becky. Uh, and I'm one of the Spice Girls. A ginger, I think. No, scary? No, look, I'll tell you who you all are. You are all a bunch of totally raving loonies. You know, forget friends, and forget the video. I never want to see any of you nutbags ever again in my life. See you later, alligator. I am not Chuck Finn. I am Sarah Bridget Rosemary McDonald. Please. <sighs> yes, yes. Let it be me. Let it be me. Yes! The kid's back and looking! Good, yeah. Prepare yourselves for a shock, guys. They're handing these out all over the district. The River Queen recommissioned. Cheapest passenger and freight rates. Sailing every day from next Monday. If I don't get it, what's it all mean? Simple. Edna couldn't buy us out, so she's going to go into competition against us. I'll tell you what it really means, Dad. With them back on the river, we're in deep trouble. Well, they are bigger. And more powerful. And they can carry more than we do. We're back! Hey. What up? So, how would you like being me? Not much. Never realised boys had it so hard. Yeah. I found out being a girl sucks too. I mean, all those strappy things you gotta wear underneath. Guys have to keep up that tough front, even when you really want to cry. You lot have to put up with so much trash from creeps like Maloney. If you get branded a wimp, you're finished. If you're not wearing what everyone else is, you're a loser. And the smell of those armpits, please. <laughs> You know the big thing I learned, though? To be a girl, it takes a lot of guts. We're gonna need them all now we're up against the River Queen. Mm, so you've heard. 
Don't cave on us, Sarah. Because you and me, okay, we've done some dumb things. But I still reckon we're a pretty good team. We can beat him. You think? I know. But neither of us can do it alone. So what's it gonna be? Are we just gonna lay down, or are we gonna fight? We fight, Chuck. Should be a battle, all right, with only one winner. But while they have the money, I have the crew. Some of whom seem to have finally come to an understanding. Thanks to the old uh, switcheroo. So then, are we all together, comrades? You've got us, you Mr. D. One for all and all for one. No, it's the other way around. All for one and one for all. No, dummy, it's, it's one for all, all for... Don't you call me dummy, you dropkick. All for one and one for all. That's what I said. You did not. Hey, guys, remember. The, the switcheroo. switcheroo. <laughs>